Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be going over the digamma function, which is essentially the logarithmic derivative of the gamma function. So it's the derivative of the natural log of the gamma function, which is also equal to the derivative of the gamma function divided by the gamma function. And so let's look at how we can recursively define this. And so we start with the recursive definition of the gamma function, which is that gamma of s plus 1 is equal to s times gamma of s. And if we take the natural logarithm, we get the natural log of gamma of s plus 1 equals the natural log of s plus the natural log of gamma of s plus 1. Or, sorry, just s. And now, if we take the derivative on both sides, we get that um, gamma of s plus 1 is equal to 1 over s plus gamma of s. So this is how we recursively define it. Now let's use the person's representation of the gamma function. Uh, it's the German guy. I, I, I honestly don't even want to try pronouncing that. So, um, I mean, at the, at the least of my knowledge, I know this is supposed to sound like a V, but it just sounds weird to me, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but we're going to use the uh, his representation of the gamma function, which I did a video on. And what we're going to do is take the natural log on both sides, um, which is motivated by products and E's all over the place. So we will get, and uh, we get this equation. And now we just take the derivative on both sides. Um, so the left-hand side becomes the digamma function and we get negative gamma minus 1 over s and here um, when we take the derivative on the inside we get uh, we get each of these goes to 1 over k and then we get 1 over k divided by 1 plus s over k um, and this term if we multiply top and bottom by k is just equal to 1 over k plus s Anyway, so I'll, I'll fix that in the next line, but now if we add 1 plus s to both sides, so we get rid of this one and we get 1 plus s, then this becomes gamma of s plus 1 is equal to, um, oh, and I'm sorry, this, this should just be negative gamma. Um, shoot. Yeah. And then the sum becomes... Uh, the infinite sum from uh, of 1 over k minus 1 over k plus s. And so this is known as the series representation of the digamma function. And so notice that this 1 over k, 1 over k plus s, um, if we were to make s equal to 0, then this whole sum would go away. And if we were to make s equal to 0, we would get gamma, or the digamma of 1. So digamma of 1 is negative gamma, or negative euler mascheroni constant. And this is equal to the derivative of the gamma function of 1 divided by the gamma function of 1. And gamma of 1 is just equal to 1 because it's 0 factorial. So we get that this is equal to the derivative of the gamma function evaluated at 1 is equal to minus uh, the euler mascheroni constant. So now I've built up all the proper background and in the next video we will solve an interesting limit problem. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in that video. One more thing that I forgot um, was a basically just another form for gamma. So what we're gonna do right here is this 
this uh, 1 minus 1 over k minus 1 over k plus s. We're actually going to replace that with the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n or x to the k minus 1 minus x to the k plus s minus 1. And so these are simple polynomial terms and you can see that integrating will indeed give this. So we still have the sum uh, outside and since these are just polynomial terms we can switch the sum and the integral to get this expression. So now what we can do is factor out x to the k minus 1 and uh, what we get is 1 minus 1 minus x to the s and this is actually a constant with respect to k uh, our sum and so we can pull out this 1 minus 1 minus x to the s and we get the integral and then we have so we have this factor outside of the sum and then we have inside the sum we just have x to the k minus 1 and this is just a simple geometric series and so this will this will be 1 plus x plus x squared so we can apply the geometric sum formula and we get this simplified integral. So this is equal to the di gamma function at s plus 1. But now what is this integral? If you recall from my video on the harmonic numbers, we found that h sub n was equal to this integral, which is exactly what we have right here. So that means that gamma or di gamma evaluated at s plus 1 is minus minus gamma plus h sub s. So obviously this will only hold true for integer values of s. So s has to be an integer because the harmonic numbers are only defined on the integers. So s has to be an integer. But other either than that, um, we can use this to get any integral, uh, any integer value evaluated at the di gamma function. And since the di gamma function is just the derivative of gamma divided by gamma, then, and if, if gamma has an integer input, we can compute that easily. So this allows us, this formula allows us to get that any, um, the derivative of the gamma function evaluated at n plus 1 is equal to n factorial times negative gamma plus the nth harmonic number. And uh, notice that in, in the video I defined h sub n for 1 and greater sometimes we will have to evaluate h sub 0 and we just take this to be 0 for convenience purposes. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.